these winds are ripping. They were supposed to be 10 to 15. These are easily 20 plus right now. It may not seem so bad because I'm standing behind the building, but watch when we get on the water. They are freaking ripping right now. <clears throat> we're going hog hunting tonight, but I thought, you know what? Let's get on the water real quick with Jason May. You guys have seen me fish with him a few times. <clears throat> See if we can knock out a quick video in the morning. We're gonna be throwing hell, just about everything between drop traps and spinner baits, so. But the shitty thing is, is the wind's coming out of the south, about 20, and anything that we're fishing right now is up north. So we're just gonna get beat up by the wind. So hopefully we can make something happen. Now you see what I meant when the wind is really bad. Really bad. Oh, Whoa. God. Oh. Oh. Rig, drop shot. I'll throw a drop shot since you're throwing that. Oh my God, I got it. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I've never done that in my life. I thought you didn't have anything on it and you were just sitting there. <laughs> no. I was about to go down and catch it. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> what the hell was that? Good start to the day. There's one. There you go. Oh, first fish of the day. Come on. Comes on a drop shot right off the rocks. Not bad at all. There we go. Good quick fish. Look at his dorsal fin. Oh my, what do you think that cow was caused from? I don't know. You ever seen anything like that? Baby. Huh. All right, first fish comes on a drop shot. And I lost my weight, so we gotta retie that. Here's one. Oh, good one? Huh. Ooh, yeah, that's, a, that's a good fish right there. Maybe it's a good one. Oh, you had me wrapped on something, honestly. That's, that's a good, a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish, dude. Oh, drop shot fish can be scary. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Ooh. Oh, he's coming up now. Oh, oh big old there drop go, shot fish, man. There we go. A big old drop shot, baby. Woo! <laughs> dude, who cares about 20 plus mile an hour winds? We're going to catch some biggins. Dang. Look at that. Hooked underneath the jaw. Look at that. Ah. Second fish of the day come up. What do you think? Six plus? Yeah. I think six plus pretty pretty easily. You want to 7-Eleven. I think it's a 7-Eleven. Yeah, 7-Eleven. I already weighed that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw it in the well. I want to get a weight on it in a picture later. God, that's a beautiful fish. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. What do you guys think? How big do you think this fish is? Woo! Well, in the well. Ooh, drop shot fish. This is the bait of choice. I should probably check and see if I need to retie, huh? Now we're good. We're good to go. Come on, dude. Try to find them like parrot. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me let me let me hop on the dock. You sure? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to. It's kind of a pain back there. Let me see if I can get it off this way. Don't know how smart this is, but probably not the smartest thing to be doing. No, got it. Oh, dude, there's a freaking gate. We'll, I'll, we'll go one day, like, not a bad fish either. Oh, no, that's a good one again. Oh, geez, that is a good it's one. Not as big as your last one, but. Dude, look at him run. Yeah. Don't go in the dock. Don't go in the dock. Oh, it's going to the dock. 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 It might be big. Nah, dude, he is running. He's got a good head on him. Go ahead and tighten that drag down a little bit. Don't go in the dock. Don't go in the dock. Don't go in the dock. Dude, look at the boils. Dude, he's going to the dock. Don't go in the dock. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I'm falling. <laughs> Dude, I thought he broke off. I swear to God, I did. There we go, number two. Uh, another one on the drop shot. Look at this. Uh, oh, come on out of there. Come on out of there. 
Oh, what is this? Fish number three for me? Yeah. It's good. Uh, I think it's a good third fish. What do you think? Yeah. I think it's about a five something. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's, half, that's, uh, that's bigger than four and a half, dude. There we go. Another, another. Oh, good day. I'm going to throw him in the well. I don't think he's keepable. He's not keepable? No. You don't think so? Well, maybe. You want to see? We can see. I kind of want to, I want to see how, how long do you think he is? 21 or so? 21. 21 inch? And 21 and a half. Is he in the, within the slot? Barely. He's within the slot. We get to put him in the well because he's within the slot. I'd say he's probably six pounds. What do you think? Uh, five and a half? He's five something. Five something. We're going to weigh all these fish for you guys here at the end. Because now I got two, two, two good sized Mondos in the well already. All caught on a drop shot. Dude, I would say that's a female for sure. Do you see how small the mouth is? Ah. Good day. Dude, I swear, I thought I lost him when he wrapped me around that piling right there. Did you not see it? Huh? It like wrapped around the piling and came and popped loose. I was like, God dang it. There we go. Fish number three is in the well. I'm feeling good. Got a little coffee in me. Got a little spunk. Good one. Yeah, I need you to get a good one, dude. Just one solid 12. 12, 12. We need you to dang. grab a 12. Nothing more than a 12 or nothing less. Okay, update on life. I thought I lost that fish, but there's no poles on this thing. It literally just, my line slid down the plastic thing and then popped off and I thought it had popped the line. Jason's over here not worried. He didn't, he didn't let me know that there's no poles on this dock. After I look at it, I'm an idiot because it's a floating dock. So there's no, there's no poles all the way through this thing, is there? Just on the ends. Yeah. All right. Well, there's my Peric moment of the day. There's one. That one? Yep. Oh yeah, look at you go, boy. Dude, this one is a... Uh, a little bit size challenged. Compared to what you're catching, now yeah. you're gonna make fun of them? <laughs> yeah, this is a little size challenge. And you wanna know something crazy? I think this one's swimming out in the open. What do you think? A little wider than the other ones? Just came up from deep water. Just came up. Dude, this drop shot is absolutely murdering it today. Absolutely. You know what? I'll do you guys a favor. I'll link the bait in the description. It'll be a little Amazon dealio link. You guys can click on it, you guys can check it out. Uh, if you guys like this, this uh, drop shot bait, it is, it is the one that I actually learned when I was up in Champlain. Peric uses it religiously to catch smallmouth, so I brought it down to, brought it down to Texas and it's, it's working. It's doing magic today. Working wonders. Probably it's working. Two. You probably got a few of them doing it right now all the way at the north end though. Oh, uh, here we go. Another one. Yep. Another one off that tree right there. Another little one. Oh, another little one. There you go. You look right in the roof of the mouth, right off that tree next cast after just talking to you guys. Oh God, oh no, I got the drop shot horrific. Oh God, dang it. That is why you don't boat flip these things. I've said it before. Why? Would, look at this, look at this mess. Fish? There we go. Good one? one maybe. Flip them, flip them. In the boat. But I'm working on the 12 pounder that's for a, you. That's a three and a half, four pound solid. There you go. Stout fish. Good job, dude. Bump, 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 bump. There we go. Ooh, another one? Is that a fish or is that's it? That's a fish. It's a big fish. God damn. <laughs> yes. You go. If that's a fish, that's a big fish. No, it's just a towel. That's a big fish, dude. Way to go. Oh, man. I was stuck. Second cast, two casts in a row. Big fish. <laughs> God dog, man. I'm doing good. Oh, I just crossed you. I crossed you with a drop shot. We're about to have some issues. Nah. Fish. <laughs> oh, dude, these ones by the dock are dark. There we go. Fish number six, I think. Five, uh, four? four. Can I not? Five, six, seven. Seven. Fish number seven in total for the boat. Look at his jaw. Oh yeah. He's been caught before or what? Yeah, probably. Little dude, not having a good life so far, man. Got to learn. He's trying to get hungry. He's trying to get fat. He's gonna know. be the next ten pounder generation. He needs to. He needs to learn to eat some real food, huh? Yeah. Look how much darker they are though, in comparison yeah. to the ones from over out in the open. Still throwing the uh, the good old drop shot. I'm probably not gonna put this down for the rest of the day because it's uh it's doing some work on these docks doing the work but god i hate boat flipping with drop yeah. shots dude it just completely just wrecks your stuff completely wrecks it 
Go ahead and just kind of peel it, peel it off. There we go. Like three John boat fish. You got one too? Yeah. Unless it's yours. Nope. I got a fish too. Oh God. I'm hooked up on your well, line. Both like... Oh God. What is going on here? There's... I don't know. Okay. So that was my fish gone. We got two. <laughs> And I don't know if y'all saw both of them. <laughs> we both, you, I thought, I, when I set the hook, I then you said, I was like, okay, I think both somebody got the same fish or something. No. Ended up being two different fish. That was weird. The same exact I can tell time. You that's never happened before. Right there? That's, no, just in general, that's never happened where I'm crossed with somebody else and we both set the hook. Two, just two. And ah. it's actually two different fish. That was weird. And you didn't even boat flip one. I why well, I, I got I got the quick release and also got a giant ball of just the quick uh, release. Oh, there we go. No, we're good. We're good to go. Look at that. Well, there's two giant fish for you guys right there on one cast. Gigantic. I, I, had, I had I did have two fish on my line. Yeah. My line was connected to yours. Two fish on one hook. No, two fish one cast. Title of this video: Two fish one cast. Done. It's over. All right. Well, one one thing we don't have on the boat is a, uh, a scale. Jason May does not believe in scales, apparently. Uh, I, I, you know what, I actually can't really say anything because when I caught that 10, I didn't have a scale and I had to actually go to Walmart. That was Rackley's fault, we blame you, Rackley. Well, we got these two fish in here. I know you guys want to know the weight of them, so we're gonna pull in the marina. We'll weigh them real quick. Uh, I don't know if it'll be on camera because I don't, is it gonna be on camera? Do I weigh them on camera? I can't, I'll be able to? Okay, so I guess we're gonna weigh them on camera for you guys, but let me get this GoPro off, grab these fish, and I'll have him carry them while I carry the camera, I think. Yeah. Fish number one. Oh, 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 oh. Fish number one. I'll go ahead and hold this. You want to grab the other one? Man, he's a feisty little one. It's a feisty little guy, huh? We're gonna get a. Uh, we're gonna go get these weights for you guys. I know. I'm kind of interested myself. I know one. One popped. I think one's around seven or so. Oh, he's a good fish. Here we go. Let's go weigh him, guys. This is one interesting way to weigh fish. I'll tell you what. This is the best way to weigh fish. They both look good. Then you get legit weight. Small one first. What do we got? What do we got? got? 609. All right. 609 on that one. And 670. 609, 670. Not bad. All right, let's get these fish back in the live well. It's not very many times I take a fish into a, uh, a marina to get a little, to get away, but it works. So we got 609 and a 670. Some water real quick before we take a photo. So we had a 609 and a 670. That's 13, it's about 13 pounds for two fish, right? Uh, yeah, just right on, just, just Just under 13 pounds for two fish, so not too bad. 13 plus what, a four? Oh yeah, we had a four as well. So Plus had, a couple of twos. Probably had about 20 pounds. So 14, 18, yeah, 20 pounds or so? About 20 pounds, 18, 19. We can't do math this morning, apparently. So you caught that three and a half. I would say we had 20 pounds for best five. What do you think? Probably 20 pounds for best five? Good day. Let me grab a photo of this and I'll be back with you guys in a second. This is my, my pond hopping backpack. Dude, who remembers having a radio flyer when they were a kid? Apparently it's one of Avery's favorite toys. What do you want? Oh, the back? Oh, yeah. dude, you can take it. It's got it. Come on. There we go, we're good. So this one's mine? That one's yours, you can keep it. <laughs> is that everything? We good? Yeah. If they want to see some big fish, they need to come over and watch. Yeah. Make sure you check out Mr. May. You guys, he'll be linked below. He's a good guy. Came out. Oh god, that came out pretty good too, dude. I don't remember us hitting anything with it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Here, let me try to get it over. I'm gonna put the camera down. All right, dude. I'll see you later. Later, the epic. This Bob. I'll talk to you this week. Okay. All right. We'll see. Okay, good. Good luck this week. weekend, by the way. Good All luck man, this thanks. weekend. Yep. Get in there. Get in there. Oh. Oh God, what a, what? I gotta fix these. Oh, no, there's no fixing them. There's no fixing them, the bag's on them. Well, 
I'll see you guys back at the house. It was a good day. We only fished for like two hours. Got a six and a seven. We'll take a look at these uh, six sticks when we get back over the house. A lot of people have been wondering about them because they're they're new, but they're that, that rod that we've been, uh, been working on. I've been talking about them for a couple days now. And you guys just watched me uh, catch some, I would call those pretty quality fish on them. So I'm telling you, the best rod and reel combo you can get for 150 bucks, I promise you. I put my name on it. I, I literally, I, I put my name on these rods. I'll link them down below if you guys want to check them out. But anyway, we'll go over them a little bit more when we get over the house because I know a lot of people, they really want to know about them. It'll be a quick little segment, maybe like 30 seconds, and we'll, we'll hop off out of here and try to go kill some pigs. So I told you guys I would do some sort of like quick, I don't want to call it a product review, but because it's not really a review. I don't really want to call it a review because I had a lot of uh, input on making these rods. So the six sticks, casting, you got two, 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 uh, two choices, a seven foot two, and a seven foot four. Here's a seven foot four right here. Seven foot four heavy. There's one. Here's a seven foot two, medium heavy. So the one I was using for like Texas rigs and spinner baits and moving baits, small little lipless like that. But today I was using the seven foot one uh, spinning setup. Medium heavy spinning setup. That's what I was using today. That's for your drop shots, shaky heads, stuff like that. Like these 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 uh, these rods we made. They're more like I, I want to call them like they're uh, it's a versatile lineup. Like you can use. Like the seven foot two bait cast and that one I was just showing you right here. This one right here, I'm telling you, this one is, is extremely versatile. Like this is $149 for rod and reel. 149 doll hairs. One rod and needed one to do a lot of stuff with. Either this one or the uh, spinning one. Now if you want to add something that's got a little more oomph for frogging and, and jigs and that kind of nature or swim baits or anything like that, that seven foot four heavy, that works wonders. Now the reason why I'm, I'm talking about these is because like over the past, I would say six, seven, eight months, however long I've been doing YouTube, maybe a year, the number one question is always best rod and reel for under this price, best best combination. Like what, what can we do to, to what this, like we have, like, I don't know. I, I don't know how many times I gotta say it. We have put our names personally, Peric, me, Flair, and now Rackley, have all put our names literally on the line uh, for this company favorite because we, we believe in it so much and now that I have a say in making of these rods, now, you, know, you, guys, you guys have to trust us when I, when I say this. If you guys are a viewer and you guys are looking for any sort of rod, um, this, this would be the one that I would tell you right now um, to, get, to snatch. Like if you wanted to get a good deal while they last, because the thing is, is they, they don't last that long. Like, like, like my Lunkers TV rods, thank you so much for everybody supporting. The only ones that are left of those, I think, are maybe like a couple seven foot threes and maybe a 7-Eleven. That's pretty much it. Those are out of stock right now for a couple months. But... These are the rods that I'll be using because I want to let you guys know that they are really good rods. And like today, I just showed you, you can catch big fish and you're not going to strip them out. They're not going to break. They're not, nothing bad's going to happen. They're good rods. I put my name on it, I promise you. So if you guys want to check them out, they will be linked below. But it's pretty much, it's pretty much what I wanted to say. I, I, I don't really know how to do like a super in-depth review on them. They work and they're, they're, they're a good price point. You can buy the rod and reel separately if you like, but it's cheaper to buy them as a combo. Anyway, guys, it's 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 getting ready for that time. I'm gonna be hog hunting for the next two days, so I'm I'm hoping. I'm sorry, this might have been a short video. We only fished for two hours, but I'm hoping. I am hoping that I can kill a hog finally. Got got all the right equipment to do it. So, but until then, I'll uh, see you guys on the. Uh,